year later. Do the first 2023. I'm gonna go training now. We've got an hour and a half of training. And then we've got um, an Adidas shoot. So people from Adidas are gonna come in, take some pictures, take some videos. Yeah, see how it goes. I'm halfway through my fight camp, fighting 29th of October, Warden Redemption Show. I'm like around 63 in a bit kg, need to cut down to 60. I've got a couple of weeks to do that, so I should be fine. I'm gonna hit the sauna at the end though for a bit of a water cut. And I'm on my way now to a personal training session. Yeah.
Okay, so the first question is who are you and how long have you been in Muay Thai for? Okay, my name is uh, Chris Pawado. I am the head coach, owner of Bammering Clapham. I started training martial arts when I was 12 years old. So that's going to be, how many years is that? 30, 31 years almost in total, but it's an accumulation of various different types of martial arts. How many martial arts do you do then? Uh, Thai boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Filipino martial arts, I'm Filipino, uh, Penjak Zila, a little bit of boxing, um, combine it all together and now this is what we, we teach over in Bama. So generally how does fighting affect you mentally um, as well as the fighters? Yeah, so competition is different for everybody, some people are able to deal with it, some people aren't, but it's having the right strategies in order for you to get the correct type of mindset. You know, the way that you talk to yourself is key. Um, having that self-belief, eradicating all of that self-doubt and implementing those different techniques and strategies in order to help you perform. So, you know, obviously you need to practice, you need to develop that confidence you need in order for you to perform. Uh, you need to put the work in because you won't be able to compete if you haven't put the work in. So you need to trust the process, keeping to the fundamentals, making sure that you keep everything nice and simple. Um, and then look to be in a state of flow. How has Miguel been preparing for the fight? Yeah, so Miguel's come a long way. Behind the scenes, I've watched him wake up really, really early. Uh, he's come into the, the club itself and he's been working on his strength and conditioning. He's been shadow boxing. He's been working on his footwork and his balance, his coordination, the flow that I spoke about. Uh, watching him train now uh, is amazing because he's very fluid and he's got really, really good feet. I've always complimented him when it came down to his footwork and the way that he has been able to put the shots together and to create those angles. And he, he enjoys himself when he does it, right? So to watch him train and enjoy it, that's part of the process as well because you're not gonna do anything if you don't enjoy it, right? And I know wholeheartedly for him to wake up and to show that discipline and dedication to wake up at sometimes 5.30, quarter to six in the morning uh, to come and train and to implement those things that I've asked him to do. It's, it's, it's nice for me to see, so um, yeah, very proud of him, very proud of him. Um, so one last question would be, what other weight uh, loss techniques that you usually do? Um, because really they have to go down from 65 to 60, um, just about two weeks. Mm. So what are like, the different techniques for that? Yeah, so again, nutrition is such a big part, okay? So there, there's many ways that you could do this. Yeah. Um, he had, I think, just over a week, I think, to lose two kilos. So again, just a reduction in calories, making sure that he was eating carbohydrates, uh, protein, water at the same time, but obviously not too much. He needed to reduce it so that he can slowly take his weight down rather than dramatically take his weight down. Okay. He was also going into the sauna, um, spending some time in there, um, and just monitoring the amount of calories that he was consuming. I'm gonna weigh myself again, see how it goes, but I feel like I'm gonna be here for quite some time. How much lower you need to go? Two kilos more, maybe one and a half, and then I'll be done. So being able to do that subtly, he's done this before already, so he knows what to expect. Yes, it's a challenge. Again, from a psychological perspective, you don't really want to be reducing calories. Okay, because, you know, it's not nice when you're hungry. But if you need to make weight, that's what's important. And as a fighter, this is part of the mental battle to be disciplined in order for you to do so. You 
consistency. So props to Miguel. Um, again, it just comes down from the years of training and understanding the cycle of preparation. So um, yeah, well done Miguel, well done. All right, great, thank you so much.
these two men. For me at the moment, as far as it goes, this is fight of the night. Good venue, good shit. Don't even have any words, man. Hey, do you wanna come around now? Stay around half past five. Stay until the morning, then I carry on and live my hollow life. Did you really take my soul? Came and then you left a hole. Shot me in the late night, bleeding out in plain sight, running with the heart you stole.